JJ Rosa, where is the mercy? Wow, that was a great tune, like very 80s feel to it for sure, like between some of the soloing, the synths, and everything. But she had a fantastic voice. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, she's a she's got a very strong dynamic look as well, um, which you know already creates a presence. So I can imagine when she's sort of you know singing. I know she's played quite a few festivals, Glastonbury being one, and I'm sure it's the Isle of Wight Festival as well. And Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac has sort of said bits and pieces about her as well. So quite a you know, few kind of musicians already out there are, get, are noticing her, and I'm not surprised at all. I mean, she's she just, I mean, as soon as I heard it, I was like, wow, you know, captivated. And it, it wasn't a sound I was expecting, to be fair, from Manchester to be true. You know, it was just completely out there and obviously very individual um, yeah, I think it's great, and and also it's it's fantastic that she's, well, you know, deciding to kind of raise money for the charities, and and mm. that's what the song <laughs> is kind of released about. For somebody who's new to sort of music as well herself, um, right. she's obviously been moved as we all have by what's going on in the world, and I just think that's you know fantastic, really good at this time of year as well. Absolutely. So very very cool. Um, yeah, so, yeah. there you go. <laughs> this so, weekend will be the last uh, NMS before the holidays, before Christmas. Is that this week? That's this weekend, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. Because there won't be one on the 26th because I will be out of town for the day. Well, it's Boxing Day as well, isn't it? So. Yeah, well, Boxing Day in Canada, but not in the US. They don't, they don't have Boxing Day, they just have Black Friday. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so yeah, but it's it does that's not so bad. I'm sure no. I know you'll be missed, but I think it's, it's Oh no, I know. It's nice you need a bit of a break as well because it's quite full on, isn't it, for you doing it every, and you're doing that the other one on Sunday as well now, aren't you? So Yes you know, the, and the, I'm glad you reminded me because I might have forgot about <laughs> about pre recording it. I, oh, I, I actually actually for, got ready, you mean, this weekend or? Well, yeah, I'll probably do both, yeah, one for this Sunday, one for the following Sunday. Yeah, I almost forgot I had to do that. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> well, it, well, the thing is, it's because you're, I mean, you said that to me before, it's getting into that, that routine. You're used to just doing the New Music Saturday, you yeah. prepare for that. Because yeah. you're doing other stuff as well. You're working, doing other things. So it's just getting back into, you need to put it, put it on your calendar. Yeah, <laughs> normally I'm, pretty, I'm usually pretty good about remembering, so I usually don't need a calendar for that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I like to. I like to remind myself. I'm not very good at using the calendar on my phone. I find too much hassle. You know, I, I like a paper diary, and the phone is for other stuff. I just couldn't be dealing with that. So. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> for for, for I said anything. <laughs> So what time have we got left? Because we've got another track. Uh, we, we definitely have time for another track, for sure. What about my poem? Have we got time to slip that yep. in? Oh, we have plenty of time for that. Oh, hey, do we? Okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> 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 well, it is, a, it is a seasonal one that I wrote. So. Is it? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I love it when you do your Kevin Klein. You know that. <laughs> yeah. as, as horrible as it is, it's okay. You know I'm going to have to have you on... Cream FM because we've already talked about you oh, absolutely. already and um, you have raised a bit of interest. I think they thought you were a chiropractor because you're Dr. Bones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, people thought a few things because of that name, <laughs> which I don't even need to go into detail. Just use your imagination. Yeah. It's probably best not to go down that route before we okay. um, But yeah, no, so I think it'd be quite cool. Once I've worked out how you do the call in. Right. And I'm hoping to go live in the new year, but they're, they're, they're sort of throwing up all the scheduling at the moment, so I don't know what's going to happen. But um, Chiropractor. <laughs> I shall let you know. I'm sure I can get you on. And then I'll be in charge. There you go. <laughs> That'll be a nice change. Oh, will <laughs> Well, I actually, no, it's scratch that because you do most of the talking anyway, so never mind. <gasps> oh, you love it. You love it. <laughs> That's funny for you, isn't it, really? Oh, no, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Come on, then. So let's put the next track on. Cause right, well, this is a very cool one. I never, I never get around to actually getting this out there. So. Oh, go ahead and queue it up. 
Go ahead, it's all you. Okay, so this is Little White Lies, and they're from Poland, and it's called Sunflowers. And it was Jason from the Unassisted, when he did used to do his blog um, posting, Band on Bands, he introduced them to me sort of a long, long time ago. And they're quite, they're quite difficult to kind of pin down, because I don't think they have a Twitter account. Um, I know they've got a Facebook, but there's so many things called Little White Lies, it's quite difficult sometimes to have them. But if you look on my SoundCloud site, then you'll see that they do come under Little White Lies, but they're, they're, they're a kind of rock and roll um, sort of group that have an element of garage and psychedelic rock with them as well. They started off as a duo, um, and then they've, they're now sort of a, a threesome, which is not the right way to put it, is it? <laughs> Oh, stop it. You're making me laugh now. Um, the, the debut album was Devils in Disguise, and it was released in 2012, and then they did a, a crowdfunding for their second album, and they've actually won Best Band of 2013 as well. So there you go. Nice. They mainly play in Poland, so I'm not sure whether they're going to venture out elsewhere, but it, they are very, very good and cool. Right, I know. Well, you, you can't blame that last, that last comment on autocorrect, eh? So here we go with a little light wise. <laughs> with sunflowers now, it was definitely different <clears throat> I mean I like the acoustic sound to it and love that kind of little 
I don't know if it was a horn or something off a synth played at the end, but it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I think it's, I mean, obviously Sunflowers is more of a kind of summary type track, but I, I just, I like it. It's very haunting, but there are other stuff. I think all of their stuff is very different. So a lot of their style is not like that, where it's slow and, you know, it can be, as I say, they've got this garage and psychedelic rock influence in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I say, they're not that easy to find because right. I don't know. I think there's some there's a magazine called Little White Lies, and I think there's loads of other stuff. So when you look it up, it comes up with other things before. But if you were to go on my SoundCloud, as I say, if you look at the ones I've liked, you'll see them. And I mean, you can it's on iTunes as well, so you can you know buy their albums and things. But I, I just think it's nice to have. I love the world. I love world music anyway, and I think it's really cool to have a bit more of a European sort of slant on things. It is. It's, it makes it just so much more interesting music, doesn't it? Sometimes, you know, if you've got the mix. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, there's there's a cool rock band out of uh, Turin, Italy. They've played a few times on an MS called Victims of Illusion. Okay. And they're 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 like they're rock, but they're really cool. I really enjoy them. And there's also. They're more I love Spanish guy. I think his name, you know. Um, oh, Johnny Hate. Yeah, oh God, his stuff's wacky, isn't it? At times, yeah. but it's really. But I love that though. Oh, you've interviewed him as well, haven't you? Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah he, he's that was very cool, and I yeah I love his stuff as well. And there's also a band. They're kind of electronica out of uh, Tel Aviv called the uh, Memory Implant. Oh right, well, I don't know if I have I. I'm not sure if I've heard it or not. But they have they have a song called. I haven't played them in a long time, but yeah, they they're 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 a little tripped out, but they're from Tel Aviv. Memory implant. I think I think what's really cool. It's a bit like anything with your new music Saturday. I love it when you 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 know go over other tracks because it's so easy, isn't it? I mean, sometimes you kind of you listen to it and then you'll go, hang on, what was that one? And so sometimes when you repeat, it's like any radio, isn't right. it? Um, the more you play things again, people get to listen and get into it. But I, yeah, I mean, some of the stuff from your sort of new music Saturday on Saturday last week was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It was cool. Right um, yeah. So there you go. That's well, me pulling you up. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I appreciate it. So, <laughs> and your poems are awesome. Speaking of which, we have your newest one for the holidays. So, if you want to tell us a little bit about this one before we play it, um, well, it, I don't know. It's like everything. I mean, I've, I mean, I've like as you go through life, things happen, don't they? So, with poetry, it's like any kind of songwriting, and you, you know, you write your music and everything. It you pick things out of life, and and sometimes when I'm writing the poetry, it's trying to kind of put it all together without being really slushy. And all too Christmassy and too, you know, sort of, oh, you know, everything's lovely. Because actually, at the end of the day, there's so much that goes on at Christmas. And a lot of the time, we do lose people as well. So I wanted to kind of encapsulate everything without being sorrowful, but emotive. <laughs> right on. So here we go with the Spirits of Christmas Past by Forgotten Me. The excitement's building, my tree's up and my lights are on. And I'm feeling in the festive mood, so I thought I'd record this poem. It's my latest, and it's called The Spirit of Christmas Ghosts. I've tried to encapsulate in this poem everything that I think Christmas is all about. So here it goes. The quiet and stillness of the world as the icy flecks from the heavens unfold. A dreamlike state as footsteps we make hand in gloved hand through winter wonderland. The shimmer of lights, fires burning 